So what are separable costs and why do they matter in cost accounting? Separable costs are costs incurred after what they call the split-off point. They are costs incurred to manufacture a certain finished product which are distinct to that product. So if we have raw peanuts, and that is our joint base product that goes into all of our different types of peanuts that we sell to customers, we convert some of those raw peanuts into salted peanuts. That is the finished product. So what separate costs do salted peanuts incur that are unique to that product? Well, salt. If we, if we have unsalted peanuts and salted peanuts, then the salted peanuts have their own unique direct material in the form of salt. We also need employees to run the salting machines. So we're going to have direct labor that is a separable cost and we are going to have any type of depreciation or other indirect costs that are incurred to convert those raw peanuts into sellable salted peanuts. What about peanut butter? Again, the raw peanuts are the joint cost of production. They go into all of our different peanut lines. But the costs that are specific to turning those raw peanuts into peanut butter are things like the oil that we use to make it nice and smooth and creamy, the jar that we put it in, those are direct materials. And just like we had with salted peanuts, we have employee salaries, people need to run the canning machines, etc. Then we have depreciation on those machines and other indirect costs. So in production, if you have a joint cost, a material in this case, which is used to make multiple sellable, identifiable finished products, all costs are incurred that are unique to the finished products beyond the point of the joint costs are referred to as separable costs. The split off point is the point where that separable cost becomes unique to that product. So it would be, you know, salt for the salted peanuts, it would be all of the oil and jars, etc. for the peanut butter and all of the other labor and indirect costs that go with it. Do we need to have a system to allocate the separable costs? And the answer is no, because they are identifiable. No one is going to make the mistake of putting the cost of a peanut butter jar into unsalted peanuts which are sold in a bag because you don't need jars. It's very easy to trace these costs directly to the products. So the joint cost that you have, the raw peanuts in this case, you need a system of allocation to get the joint cost into your individual product lines. For the separable cost, you don't need any kind of system. You would just go and track and say, we used X amount of jars to make peanut butter. We used X amount of pounds of salt to make salted peanuts. And you would add those identifiable separable costs to the amount of joint costs that you allocated to get the total cost for that product line.